everybody. Good to see you here. Good to have you around. Good evening. Nice. Uh, we're with a group of 14 people attending a training now for the next three and a half days. So this afternoon until Friday. And I will tell you more about what we're going to do later on. Um, let me first introduce myself. My name is Luke. I'm from the Netherlands. And uh, I'm here now for this training. I do these trainings in several countries, uh, in e Asia, Africa, uh, but also in Europe. So it's, a, it's a, um, an entrepreneurship training which originally is from the United States. And I can tell you something about the history of that. In 1986, a man called Steve Mariotti was jogging around Central Park in New York. And suddenly some guys jumped out of the bushes and robbed him. They mugged him. They beat him down and he ended up in hospital. They stole his money, and then they laughed off. And um, he was actually thinking, how come people do this, you know? And he started thinking about, if they do this, people who, who, who mug, they have to make a plan, right? Because they have to think about, where do I do this? Um, who is my victim? Uh, who am I cooperating with? If we have... Um, some money from this guy, if we, we steal the money from the guy, what are we gonna do with the money, right? And then, what are we gonna do afterwards? Are we gonna run away, are we gonna stay there, or, and where are we gonna meet again, and how do we divide all the, the money we, we earn? And he thought, this is funny, because the man who was robbed had his own company. And he said, this is nice, you know, because when I started my own company, I had to think about where am I going to run my company? Who am I going to cooperate with? Who is my, not victim, but customer? Right? Who am I selling to? Um, what do I do with the money I earn? All kind of things which actually are similar to the guys who did the mugging. So we thought, you know what, I'm going to do, I'm going to give some lessons in the Bronx in New York. So he started there doing mathematics, economics, but they were not interested. The kids were not interested in that at all. So they threw away the books and walked out and said, no, I'm going home. But the guy noticed every time he talked about his business, they were interested, they were listening. They were like, oh, tell me more about this, because this is what I like, this is what I can do myself too. So then he said, okay, you know what, throw away all these mathematic books and economic books and we're gonna talk about entrepreneurship. So that's how he developed an entrepreneurship program, which is called Network for Teaching Entrepreneurship, NFTE. He spread it out, this program in the United States. People were very positive about it. So he thought, okay, let me try this in other countries. If it works here, it probably works somewhere else. When it came to Holland, we said, you know, it's nice to do this uh, training. Of course, it's good. But actually, we should add something more because it's not only about how to write a business plan, right? You can learn everybody to write a business plan, but that doesn't make you a good entrepreneur. It needs some more than that. It needs some attitude, some skills, some... Um, knowledge about yourself, about communication, about creativity, all kind of different things. And that's what we added. So the whole entrepreneurship program is not only about business and money, but also about learning more about yourself and how you communicate and how you can present yourself, right? All kind of other different things. And we do that in a way that on one hand, it's a theoretical thing. Of course, the financial parts, that's a theoretical thing. And on the other hand, we have this empowerment part, which is, um, uh, which consists of, of a lot of games, which we call games, but they're actually energizers or things we do in between. And as I said, it's with a message behind it. You're all gonna experience that, so you're all gonna see what we're gonna do. Okay, this is uh, for my introduction now. So I talked about myself. I would like to know now who you are. Now, what we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna give you a piece of paper um, and if you would be so kind to write down your name on that and put it in front of you.